they uh, moved to Los Angeles first, and within the year, we moved to Los Angeles. And it's a long day, living in Reseda. I'm back in Reseda, and it's where I was raised. I went to Cleveland High School, which is six blocks away. Pamela DeBar with the flower crown in her hair. I mean, I have such good memories here, right? Everyone wanted to be in California. These young people coming from all over the country. The California frequency because of the weather, because of the ocean. The GTOs were treated like royalty. Mercy with the layers of gypsy clothing. I mean, that's what you see at Coachella now. That's festival fashion. Ash Grove, the Troubadour, the Ice House. The jazz musicians from Miles Davis to Paul Horn to Coltrane, they were played at Shelley's Manhole. My stepfather actually was the bird's manager. And we had the Dillards and the Greenbrier wow. Boys and all these different folk acts living in our house. Stephen Stills and Iron Butterfly and the Doors and um, Buffalo Springfield. Dallas Taylor from Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, Dennis Wilson. Billy Preston and I went to high school together. And Vito was like the main scene, the old man that danced with everybody. I don't want to say they were cruising for young girls, <laughs> but... That could be Frank Zappa like lived next door. The guys in the Turtles lived across the street. So we were all living in, in a, a, the same area of Laurel Canyon. The Continental Hyatt House, which was called the Riot House. PJ became the star one. I saw Cheech and Chong there would mosey on down to the rainbow. We were getting hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people coming down there. And that was the real popular one, Rodney's English Discotheque. But we're talking Madame Wong's Chinatown, Madame Wong's West, uh, Blackie's on La Brea, Blackie's West on, on Main Street. Music Machine, Club 88, Bomp Records, Greg Shaw ha had a great deal to do with it. A fanzine called Backdoor Man, there's another fanzine Flipside. Flipside. 